Greetings from Laguna Beach, California. You might have heard of Laguna Beach. It was the epicenter of the MTV hit show, I wanna say about a decade ago, probably more than a decade at this point, but it's well known from that. It's also well known for being a town in Orange County, right? Orange County has been profiled in many, many different movies and TV shows. By the way, I just came home from the beach, so this is the slick back that I'm <laughs> showcasing today, a new look. So as implied in the name, Laguna Beach is a beach town in Orange County. Uh, I've never been here before. I've actually never been in, in Orange County, period, other than Anaheim. Anaheim is where Disney is. It's kind of like the Orlando, Florida of California, where people come in literally just for the amusement parks. And it's very much like a hotel town uh, transient. Like people come for that reason. Disney conventions. So I was actually here for a work conference called VidCon. Uh, and I decided to take a few days to drive down to Laguna Beach, heard great things about it, and I was curious how it compares to San Diego. Usually San Diego is the beach town that I'll go to when I come out to Southern California. I really like San Diego. I've talked about it many times, many different videos on this channel. So I was curious how it compared, right? It's still Southern California, so comparable, right? In terms of the beach culture, the, the climate, the, what the beaches look like. But Laguna Beach does have a different presence. And I have to say, I think I actually like it better than San Diego. Laguna Beach here feels quieter, calmer, and more posh. Uh, kind of like, I guess, La Jolla of San Diego. La Jolla is the neighborhood in San Diego that is kind of more upscale versus some of the other parts of San Diego that are busier and younger, more youthful, more college-aged kids everywhere, which has its own appeal, right? Um, when a place is livelier. But those are also the parts of San Diego that feel just less sophisticated in general, in terms of not just the crowd, but the establishments, the restaurants, the, you know, it's like you see more chain restaurants and stuff like that. Laguna Beach, at least the area where I'm staying, I was trying to get sunscreen the first day and I could not find a convenience store for the life of me because I noticed there are no chain stores or restaurants. It's very upscale, boutique. And what I like about it here is that it's like what I would call quiet money, meaning you can tell that it's a wealthy area, but it's not flashy in your face. The restaurants, the, the shops, the houses, the architecture, it's like, they're smaller, but there's a, a refinement, there's a, there's a character and a charisma to the architecture, which I like aesthetically. It's a very aesthetically pleasing, cute town. Now, of course, you know I couldn't come here without checking out the apps, and I wanted to report back to you guys my findings. So one thing about Southern California, of course, is, and this is, as somebody who's mostly lived on the East Coast, it's always difficult for me to adjust to this. There's longer distances here from point A to point B. Like things are just spread out more in California, on the West Coast in general, really. But for somebody coming from the East Coast, it's always jarring for me when I get on these apps and some of the closest guys around are like four miles away versus let's say New York City or Miami Beach, where I currently live, where there's more of this walkability factor and you have people in a closer vicinity. So Laguna Beach is one of those places just like San Diego where if you're putting like a two mile radius on these apps, like you're only interested in potentially meeting guys in let's say a two mile radius, you're gonna run out quite quickly. But that's the culture here, right? It's a it's a driving culture, it's a, it's a car town. So it's normal for people here to drive out longer distances on a daily basis. In terms of the kind of guys, like the physicality, I would say it's very similar to San Diego uh, and other parts of Southern California. There are some attractive, athletic, surfer type guys here, which is always a plus. But as is typical with Southern California, it feels very homogenous. It's very white, not very diverse here. And a lot of the guys are very bro-y. So for example, I uh, started talking to this guy on, on an app, so sexy, so, so sexy, like surfer, athletic, Southern California look. But the guy had the emotional intelligence and communication skills of a 11 year old boy. The most profound thing he said to me was, I like your hairy chest, thanks. Obviously I'll take a compliment, but just like two word responses, not really inquisitive, not really stimulating. I remember that from living in Los Angeles that that was something that always frustrated me, that I felt like 
There are good looking people for sure physically, but it's just harder to find stimulating people in this part of the country. So I was also curious to see if like San Diego, I found this random niche um, thing that I found, like, I guess, can we call it a fetish thing that I saw in San Diego, that I've seen in San Diego consistently, which is there's a lot of guys on these apps, especially the hookup apps like Grindr, exclusively looking for trans girls. I have not seen that here to the extent that I always see it on San Diego. I still don't know what that's about, by the way, in San Diego, why that's like a thing, but I always notice it and I've talked about it before on this channel. I also went to a gay beach here in Laguna Beach that I'll make a separate video about. Um, so there, there's definitely a gay scene, if we can call it that. But as is the case with most places in America that aren't like huge, urban areas. There's fewer guys, of course, and as I mentioned, because it's California, because it's the West Coast, there's just more sort of distance from point A to point B in terms of meeting meeting people, which I always, I always wonder how that must affect the culture of dating apps, in particular hookup apps, because Grindr is such an immediate gratification oriented app, right? That I wonder like, do people travel out, venture out, five to 10 miles away just for a hookup? Or does it force people to be more long-term thinking when they use these apps? Because with this distance, it's harder to be like, you know, fast food minded, the way you could be in New York City where you open this app and there's like 10 guys in a, in a you know, two block radius. Have you guys ever been to Laguna Beach or Orange County? Or maybe you live here, maybe you're from here, curious as always to hear your thoughts.